All right, today I'm going to be cutting out a zero clearance insert for my table saw, I'm making it out of half inch MDF. I've seen it made out of thicker material, but there's really no need because you got to get rid of a lot of material to make it sit flush doing that. So I'm going to let the CNC do its work and come back when it gets done. Okay, that was pretty slow. I have since increased my my feed, but it came out pretty nicely. All that's left is to cut off the rest of the tabs and sand it 
send it flush. For the record, I was using the tape and CA glue to hold this sheet down because I don't have clamps yet and I still haven't recessed the screws holding my waste board down. So clamps will be the next project. I guess I could have run this through a round over, but I didn't really see it as being necessary. It keeps more of the hole flush with the rest of the insert. Not too hard just to clean it up that little bit. This is just 240 grit that I use kind of to, to make it smoother, clean out the that little lip. Nothing too harsh. And now we go to see how it fits. There we go. There is no play front to back or side to side, unlike the factory insert. You notice it was sitting, sitting on there with the stock blade installed. I'm going to go ahead and change blades for the one that I want to run this through. And yes, I did take that nut off before I started filming. This is a 10 inch blade just like the factory one. I do push that down just to get it out of the way.
matter of raising the blade up through it. I'll explain later why I only went up that high. Now to go back to the beginning, my goal was not just to have a zero clearance insert, but I have a hard time pulling this out here, so I have to grab it in here and pull up. So I wanted to make the hole big enough that I could just pull it out. So that was my, my first requirement other than the zero clearance. The second, I know some people like these holes for adjustment. I did not see any reason for them because it's just as easy for me to raise it up, adjust what I need to adjust, and get it, get it to where it's flush. Right now, if I were to take these out, matter of fact, some of them are raised a little, but if I took them out, this would actually sit below the table. So that gave me the fewest holes with a nice fit. My prototype still works great, made for the, the single blade, no riving knife. This is no riving knife, single blade. This is for a dado stack, which I actually ran it through on a single blade. But this is big enough for a dado stack. And these two, with this cutout right here, will allow you to keep a 10 inch blade, which is what comes with these and what I put in here keep the 10 inch blade in there to make your initial cut. This doesn't have the, the cutout right here. This would be good, I've got an eight inch dado stack. This would be good if you're gonna be running an eight inch blade without this cutout right here. This is stronger and you don't need it with an eight inch blade. Now the thing about the dado stack, while you can use it with a single blade, the more of the blade that comes through here, the weaker this gets, okay? It's not really an issue. Because it's not, you're not gonna be pushing down right here. But I would not, really want to run a single blade all the way up through it. I definitely won't be putting a riving knife on this one. There is a, an option for a riving knife on the narrow one. And that's set up so that with the riving knife installed, this will go down on top of it. But that's it. These two are for 10 inch blades. This will be for an eight inch blade. I've still got this one. What I'll probably be doing is making more of these for me for my angled cuts. But then I do still have this one, which does still work. So I have to adjust it because it's a, a different material. But all of these sit in, all the MDF ones sit in fine without adjustment. So. There we have it. That project is done using my CNC to help with my table saw, using my table saw to help with my CNC. This is the way I like to do things. Till next time.